Just wanted to drop one more video this evening and say thank you to everyone in my audience who has been sending all of the well wishes and all of the prayers. Very, very much appreciate it. We have been existing in a bit of a sweet spot here up on the northeast coast on the Atlantic side of Florida. We've had some wind, had a little bit of rain, but the vast majority of folks in Florida have not been so lucky. It is currently about 9.15 p.m., 2100 hours-ish, and... There are over 600,000 people without power, and we are still an hour at least away from landfall. Pretty incredible number. They have suspended 911 services in Manatee County. I'm sure some of you might have been watching the Fox Weather app where they showed one of their on-site reporters in front of multiple transformer explosions in St. Petersburg, St. Pete Beach. So... This was as advertised. I think what surprised a lot of people about this is the speed with which it went from just being a disorganized mass of clouds to organizing into a hurricane and then climbing the ranks from cat one to two to three to four just in a matter of hours. And now we have hurricane, actual hurricane warnings for north of Atlanta. It's still going to be a hurricane in Atlanta. This is something that I haven't seen. If somebody has, I'd, I'd like to hear the story because I've been watching hurricanes for quite some time and I don't remember tropical storm warnings in Knoxville, Tennessee. That's up where the Patriot Nurse is right now and just north of there in Ohio, it's not going to be that much better. That's where Lynn Liaz is. Usually we're talking about Jennifer Veterans for Truth because she lives over in Louisiana and one year they got hit by three of them. So just wanted to also give a quick shout out, Track the Tropics, just like it sounds. It's a website, T-R-A-C-K, T-H-E, T-R-O-P-I-C-S. Pretty simple, trackthetropics.com. It's your go-to for any graphic you want, any piece of information you want, updated continuously from the National Weather Service, from NOAA, spaghetti models, power outage forecasts, surge forecasts, pretty much the entire go-to. So trackthetropics.com. That's absolutely incredible to me. The power outage forecasts from this, from knocking down trees, all the way up into Kentucky. All the way up into Kentucky. And it still has not made landfall. And it's heading directly for the Florida State Capitol, Tallahassee. I think it's going to be the aftermath, really. People, you know, look at the storm and the wind and the water. It's going to be the aftermath that I think is going to shock a lot of people how long it's going to take to fix all of this just because there's been another storm over here to the, the west that has been also inundating north of us. Florida itself has a lot of drainage based on the fact that we just deal with this a lot, but even we have been maxed out as far as water, standing water everywhere, and now this. Um, even some of the on-site reporters, which are usually a little bit dramatic, um, a little bit soapy in their coverage, I guess some of them looked actually really afraid, actually genuinely afraid for what they were doing, and they are saying, you know what, we're just done. The wind field is just incredible for this thing. It's not even on shore yet. It's, it's not even on shore and the entire state of Florida is living in a tropical storm. The, the center of the hurricane not even made landfall. And the entire state of Florida, virtually the entire state except for maybe the, the most southern eastern tip, is living in constant gale force winds right now. It's just an amazing thing to have lived through, I guess, lived long enough to see. So thank you again for all the prayers. All the well wishes makes a huge difference. I know a lot of people don't think it does, but it does. Just wanted to share these different graphics and put it in front of folks to kind of, you know, give everybody a quick place to go where just in a matter of minutes they can get all of the basics. I think it's going to be what's coming that is going to um, shock a lot of people. This is one of my favorite graphics to watch. It's the microwave radar and most of the loops that you see are only about the last hour or so. This one starts all the way back when this thing was south of Cancun. And you can watch the microwave on this. 
and the, the circulation of this storm, even before you could really even see the eye wall. And it follows the track all the way up and gives you a much better grasp of where this was going. Even though this didn't make a direct hit on Tampa, they're going to be underwater in the morning because it's still pushing water. The uh, storm is going to push water behind it right when it hits high tide. And it's going to be something to see. It truly is. And there's a lot of guys out there with drones, the real high-speed ones, the ones with the big batteries that can get you 4K images from way above and stay up there and loiter for a long time. So wish I had one. I don't. But keep your eyes open for the, the amateur footage, the drone footage. It's going to be something to see. Now, I'm not sure, you know, what the regulations are with, you know, them having official... Um, flights of different helicopters and authorities but they can't be everywhere all the time and the water will be i guess is my point the water will be everywhere so it'll be something to keep an eye out for when the sun rises tomorrow and by sunrise tomorrow this storm is still going to be a hurricane and it's going to be literally in the middle of the south it's going to be in the middle of georgia and moving north into tennessee and I just don't remember. Maybe I'm just too old to remember, but I don't remember this from hurricanes in the past that they were still hurricanes, you know, that far away from the ocean. It's just, you can't even fit all of the, uh, the effects in, in one screen here without zooming way, way, way out. So pray for everyone in Tallahassee. Um, I hope the governor's not there. I hope he's had the good sense to, to get the heck out of Dodge and, and get someplace over here on the East Coast. Uh, but even, like I said, even here over on the East Coast, um, not particularly pleasant. So the reason I dropped the video was good good chance that we're going to see power losses over here as well. Not like what they're going to see over here in the Panhandle for sure. But anyway, thank you for the prayers. So far here, Palm Coast, Florida, halfway between St. Augustine and Daytona, just some brief spates of wind, some brief spates of downpour, but generally speaking, um, nothing to write home about. We're a good distance away. But once again, let me, let me see if I can refresh this page. Customers tracked 11.4 million, customers out 608,000, last updated September 26, 2024, at 9.08 p.m. Let's hit the refresh. And looks like it's not going to give me any new numbers. So, all right. Thank you so much, guys. Very, very much appreciate it. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.